Year Six, The Rule of Munket, First of Granite, 111, Early Spring. So some dicket headshoes decided it would be a good idea to send me to engrave right under the drawbridge and then crush me for no reason. I was obviously enraged as fuck at this stupid stunt he pulled off, but luckily I was so furious at the time that my spirit drifted away from my body and I became a ghost. So after all the assholes had run out of rulers for the year, I thought I could get a little revenge on head shoots by playing overseer. Those assholes will regret what they did to my precious dwarven body. After some time wandering around the fortress, getting myself comfortable, I have to say that this is one fucked up fortress. There are exactly 99 dwarves living in this deserted hole of a fortress, and I can't see why. There are zombie skeletal imps skipping merrily with skeletal mountain goats shitting out fire on everything, skeletal naked mole dogs, crocodiles, unicorns, fucking troglodytes are roaming everywhere, getting every chance they can to rip apart anything they see. Good thing I'm a ghost. Right after I'm done recording the description down in my journal, a goblin thought it would be a good idea to take a sack and steal all the children left around. Good thing we have hardcore dwarves that laugh at the face of death. Meanwhile, I witness the mayor bursting with rage as he whines about his current quarters and demands a fucking new one. I would have placed him in front of the doomsday machine and set it off, but I was feeling generous, so I thought, why the fuck not? As I was moving furniture around, I caught a glint. The enemy is upon us! A vile force of darkness has arrived! God damn it. Rest in peace, Sir Penguin. Sir Penguin, Rakuskor, child, has been struck down. The headshoot's army arrives, and promptly ruins the goblin shit. 17th of Felsite, 111. Yivgev Atisukur, pump operator, cancels store item in stockpile, interrupted by zombie mountain goat. Many, many times. Ah, uh, same old, same old. Yivgev is being constantly harassed by goats, which he makes short work of later on. I noticed that a previous ruler thought it would be a good idea to create coins. I personally despise coins, and overall the entire concept of the economy for us stout dwarves, where economies are for the weak and brittle humies. I designate all of them to be melted immediately. I also noticed that yet another previous ruler, one that had a good idea, was starting a mining pattern to try and find more ore and valuable stone. I continue this plan. Circus Call and the surrounding lands have been made a barony. The tax collector, Olaf Lorlabad, has arrived. The hammerer, Moses Likotfeb, has arrived. The baron, Arush Thakurist, has arrived. Some migrants have arrived. Circus Call and the surrounding lands have been made a county. Oh, goody. A hammerer. Oh, and a baron, too. Oh, damn it. I'll start carving out rooms immediately. Bobatron Fikodemoth has begun a mysterious construction. Meanwhile, Bobatron becomes possessed and begins making an artifact. Ernam Vakist, Modest Lace. This is a basalt cabinet. All craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with jelly opal and pineapple opal, decorated with goblin bone, and encircled with bands of brown zircon. This object menaces with spikes of basalt, birch, and mountain goat bone. On the item is an image of a narrow crescent in pineapple opal. A cabinet? Only the most badass cabinet existing. The engravers I set to engrave the Baron's room have created masterpieces all over the goddamn place, yet the Baron still thinks it's horrid. This is why I hate nobles. Also, I've made Amadeus von Blastoise, Frosfer, Tag Plastic, Out of Print, and Spanish Matlock into dwarves, so you can cross them all off the dwarf naming wish list. 15th of Malachite. 111. 
Nothing interesting. I try to meet the Count's expectations by giving him the ultimate badass cabinet so he'll stop whining. And there. Now shut up while I improve the military. I create armor and promote some jobless pump operators to become wrestlers in case of a sudden siege or mega beast. Oh, great Armok, it's boring around here. A Humi guild representative arrives to trade Humi items such as toys and cloth and cheese. I later trade some last minute stone crafts for a couple of barrels of booze and some bars of iron. You guys are lucky. Y'all got bronze colossi and titans. I'm stuck with goblins, snatchers, and goats, who are both, most of the time, dead. I'm hella bored here. So how about somebody think of an idea for me to pull off, and I'll do it. 24th of Timber, 111, Early Winter Some happy-go-lucky goblins thought they could sneak up on us, but, as usual, they all got fucked by the Headshoot's military. Some more dickheads joined the dwarven hellhole, completely oblivious to the blood and vomit stains everywhere. Operation Weapon Icefuck is underway. Pumps and channels have been created to pump the water up to ensure they freeze during winter, given that this is a cold area, I hope. Pretty much nothing else happens from then on, for a week, eagerly waiting until the water freezes. Tiny Turtle and Smuggins have been made into dwarfs, so cross them off the wannabe dwarf list. 14th of Obsidian, Late Winter. The Walls of Ice have been designated to be created. Operation Weapon Ice Fuck will begin as soon as the human-slash-elf caravan arrives. Facial Butter Tiris Ducim, chef-slash-carpenter, has been possessed. They have begun work on a mysterious construction. Hmm. Huh. What could Facial Butter be making? Facial Butter Tiris Ducim, chef-slash-carpenter, has created Okiris Noraminod, a tower cap bin. Oh, come on. Why is it that all the strange mood dwarves make fucking furniture in this place? Make a gauntlet or something next time, damn it. Many dwarves have interrupted construct building. Job item lost or destroyed. Unfortunately, Operation Weapon Ice Fuck was a massive failure. We ran out of ice, as rivers are only frozen for the middle part of winter. But, good news. My long, drawn-out segment is finally fucking over. <laughs>